Hi, it's December 18th. The Lord shared a word with me this morning. I'm going to go ahead and put this up and please prayerfully discern all messages. My daughter, sheep, I'm sorry, my sheep hear my voice. Everyone is in a different place in their journey on their way to me. I created all differently, not one the same, because I long for different relationships with each of my creation. Not the same, same, same. One of your brothers may fault you because he has learned different than you learned. But what is in his heart, only I know. You cannot judge your brother. Much of what people argue about is in their man-made tradition, a distraction from Satan. Do not argue, do not fight. Do not feed your fleshy need to be right. All of your energy is used up battling to prove you are right when that energy and focus could have been directed towards me. Every human mind is different. All their experiences on this earth have been different. Therefore, you will all think somewhat differently. Your perceptions are different too. This I love, but Satan is able to use this as a curse because within each man lies a fleshy pride a stone within one's heart that they, that their flesh refuses to part with. Their heart may be right with me, but they still have that bit of flesh that wells up when it comes to proving their fleshy pride right. Tell my beloved children this. If I am in their heart, if they have received me, there is nothing they can do or say to improve their own standing with me. Just like the parable of the landowner who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard. He agreed to pay them a denarius for the day and sent them into his vineyard. About nine in the morning he went out again and saw others standing in the marketplace doing nothing. He told them, you also go work in my vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. He went out again about noon and about three in the afternoon and did the same thing. About five in the afternoon, he went out and found others still standing around and he asked them, why have you been standing here all day doing nothing? Because no one hired us, they answered. He said to them, you also go work in my vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to the, his foreman, Call the workers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last ones hired and going to the first. The workers who were hired about five in the afternoon came and each received a denarius. So when those came who were hired first, they expected to receive more, but each one of them also received a denarius. When they received it, they began to grumble against the landowner. These who were hi hired last worked only one hour, they said and you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the work and the heat of the day. But he answered to them, I am not being unfair to you, friend. Did you not agree to work for a denarius? Take your pay and go. I want to give the one who was hired last the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first and the first will be last. Okay, so the Lord went on to say in this message, my children who have accepted me into their hearts that have enjoyed a relationship with me for years, or maybe they have just accepted me yesterday, they will walk through my gate equally and into my open arms. Satan will try to wear you down, my messengers. When he tries to get even more vocal, spread my, I'm sorry. Okay, Satan will try to wear you down, wear you down, my messengers. When he tries this, you must get even more vocal. Spread my messages and my words to those who have ears to hear. I love you, my children.